All right, so explain what we have here. Well, as of now, originally we were going to lift keychains with it, but we had to move to these discs because our end effectors on the hands couldn't properly pick up the keychains. So we moved to the pneumatic suction on the side of the hands. Okay. And theoretically, this first hand, which is the right hand for the robot, it's on our left. Uh, that has a camera on the bottom end of it. That camera will load up our job file. It will search for the part below it, which is the uh, disc that's sitting right on the X there. Mm -hmm. It will move into place to pick up the uh, part. And as it's picking up the part, it will send a, it'll send a message to a, another input which that input will decide on the second hand after it's passed off uh, where that part will go. So essentially, it finds if it's a good or bad part, then picks it up and stores that value. And then that value in the input will then decide what the right hand or the left hand on it will want to do based cool. on whether cool. it's a good or bad part. Now you're initializing this with the teach pendant? Yeah. It's probably going to take a minute here. It's finalizing right now. Okay, so it's, you just turn it on. Now what kind of, I see this has a network connection. Yeah, it's just an Ethernet that I, I believe it's run to one of these computers right now. I keep, yeah, I keep hopping between them. Okay, so you use the, this connection to communicate with your... The, yeah, because if, the the, the, uh, if you look at the Ethernet port there, mm -hmm. it should be in the maintenance port which lets me communicate with the software to, okay. you have to give right access through the teach pendant, so it'll go okay. back and forth. So that's a bit of a pain. But is, this, is this actually connected to, to uh, this, uh, the, the, uh, your computer's network, right? So yeah, yeah, that's on the network switch, which is the same one that we have the PLCs hooked up to. Okay, all right, so it's on the same subnet. All okay, right. cool. Let me just load into these programs quick. So you, would you call this the teach pendant or the yeah, control? Yeah, this, this is the teach pendant. Teach pendant, basically, okay. Yeah, I did most of the coding. So there's a little example of the code there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I did most of the coding on the PC, but it's so much easier to get the actual location values mm -hmm. from the teach pendant. Now, is this a particular language for ABB, or is this, it almost looks like a Java or something, is it? Uh, I believe it's their own language. own language. The syntax is a little odd. Okay. There's a lot of fun syntax things with. Okay. It reminds me a lot of like uh, structured text programming in a PLC. Okay. A lot of it's everything is similar but has their own syntax depending on what you're using. Okay. Cool. Now theoretically, I should be able to run this and it should run mm -hmm. both programs for okay. the left and right hand. So when I hit the start button, it should start over here. You're probably going to see a red flash. Says, Do you want to yeah. the robot to regain the path at the program start? You hit, you hit yes? Yep. Yeah, you should see a red flash over there, which should be uh, it taking the image. Yeah, we've actually been seeing some red flashes uh, already. Oh, yeah. That's, it just uh, does a little flash to initialize the cameras when it's booting up. Oh, okay. So... It doesn't seem like the robot's woken up yet. I'm ah, shaking I, around a little bit. I see. I see the yellow. Did you make the yellow? Yeah, light I had to. Uh, I just jogged it a little bit to okay. turn the motors on. Now the program should be running okay. properly. Okay, that's running. Okay, cool. So we'll see if we can see all the steps going on. <coughs> so it's currently booting the. Uh, okay, oh, we, yep, we, we, we saw the red flash. Now this is your vacuum yep. <coughs> suction. And I see you have a, a, a vacuum pump over here yep. to generate the suction. So it should then take this part. Okay, that's your second hand. Okay. So it, stop, it stops this suction and, and turns that one on. Now, is your program stepping through right now? The uh, program? Oh, and okay. it dropped it right there, which is where it wants to drop it. That's what it's supposed to do? Yep. Okay. Let's go back here. So. My 360 camera, we can see. So um, now it says there's a move instruction here. So right. That's where it's at currently. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, that's 
where it is, which is also this move instruction is the same as the home position, which is actually I should be looking at this. Okay. It's the same as the home position. That's now is that is that is that finished? Is that what it was supposed to do? Yeah, or yeah. Basically, just transfer a disk from one to the other. Now is that identifying uh, a problem with the disk? Or yeah. Unfortunately. We don't have it pathing properly yet mm -hmm. with this hand, because essentially what we're going to do is take these two tubs here. Uh, one's going to sit here, the other's going to sit here. And if the bad part is going to go into here, if the good part is going to drop into here. Okay, I see. But you're using the, the two arm, you have to synchronize the two arms. One is going to take a picture, yeah. uh, identify the problem, right? right. And then depending on what the problem is, well, either way, this is going to take the, the part, right? Yeah. And then this arm is programmed to put it in either the bad bin or the good bin. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, the only nice. issue right now is, A, our lighting's off, so it's always going to show, like, I've been using this for lighting. It's not very adequate. Uh -huh. A lot of the times, the vision system will fail until I fiddle with it a little bit every single time. Uh -huh. It's a bit of a pain. So it's probably gonna show this is a fail, which is why it dropped it here initially. Uh -huh. And that would just need me to go through again and set up the lighting again. Okay, very <laughs> it's good. It's a bit of a pain. All right, thanks, Chris. Yep. GoPro 